Hello there! So, I was in a bookshop the other day looking at all of the books, kind of like you do in a bookshop, and I came across some art magazines and I was just kind of flicking through them seeing if it was any interest to me, and I turned over the back of one of them and it had this advertisement for these weird like art tool supply things and my first thought was that is strange and bizarre and weird and I've never seen that before so I better get home and order it right away so guess what I did and today we are going to open it and see what it actually is so let's go okay so this is the website uh they basically say they're helpful because you're able to sort of see how light and form works because you're able to like hold them in your hand and then I don't know put your phone lighting on it or something uh so as you can see you get five in a set which is very nice uh we've got Randy he looks friendly then there's Jess which as you can see she looks a bit terrifying then we've got Andy Andy basically is making the face that I made when I initially saw this website <laughs> yeah, I love it. So we've got all of these nice looking humans and then we've got Scully. I was tempted to get this one because, you know, why not? This one's me when I wake up in the morning and see myself in the mirror. Then we have Tom and last but not least we have Gwen. So this set of weird faces costs $40 plus shipping. I think shipping was $5, I forget. So this is what it arrived in, a nice little priority box. Yes, I have opened it because curiosity got the better of me. So it's wrapped up quite well. Uh, and it's in this like sunglass case, which is interesting. Are you ready? Ready? Boom! Oh, oops. I got this one because she kind of looks semi-normal. It looks so strangely bizarre and odd and creepy, but also cool at the same time. This one kind of amuses me. She looks a little bit like she's constipated or something. She, yeah, she definitely needs to blow her nose though. The only thing I will say is it's flat on the back. I think it might've been neater if it had like the skull shape behind at least but I think the point of it is just for like expressions and stuff so what's quite cool about this is you can because it's 3d and it's it's not just a photo you can actually use light to really enhance parts of the face so then we've got this one she looks more like a Karen to me do you think so like a Karen complaint to the manager type here we go this is the Karen complaint to the manager type look at that She's got some damn good eyebrows, I will give her that. Like, who do you see to get your eyebrows looking like that? Because mine never look that good. So if you're trying to, like, get someone lying down, you can just, like, hold it like that and... You know it'd be quite amusing if you actually just, like, stuck these randomly around your house and just creeped everyone out. Not sure what these are made of. They're kind of like clay, but they're not clay. Something along those lines. Some sort of... Cl Sorry, Karen before I've eaten, after I've eaten. I love how even though she's actually happy, she looks really damn creepy. I'm coming to eat all of the food in your fridge. Sorry, Karen. I've been constipated for three weeks. This one looks like Mr. Crank off Christmas with the Cranks after he's had Botox in his face. And this one just looks like me when I realize there's no chocolate left in the house. I think these are such a cool idea. I mean, I did just spend like $45 on some creepy little faces, but they're quite neat, aren't they? What do you think? Would you buy them? So we've got sad Karen. We've got angry. Let me speak to the manager Karen. We've got sadistic face cookie eating Karen. Then we've got plastic facelift Karen. And last but not least, we've got constipated Karen. Okay, so I've got this little sketchbook here. I bought it in Hobby Lobby a few days ago. It was on clearance for like $1.74 or something like that. So not sure how great the paper's gonna be, but if you've got a Hobby Lobby near you, they've got a lot of clearance at the moment. So definitely check it out. Also, uh, I've been thinking a lot about these faces and the more I think about them, the more I realize what a cool idea they are. And the reason I say this, Go away. So I think these faces are actually even more beneficial than I initially thought they would be. And the reason I say this is because you can kind of draw on them. You're able to draw kind of a semi central line straight down the face like that. And then what you can do is if you want to draw it from a slight angle, you can tilt it 
and see that the, the way that the sort of central line sits on the face, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to kind of draw a more stylized version of this face straight on. Um, and I'm going to need some luck drawing this circle. Okay, that is a somewhat somewhat okay circle typical circles we artists make uh, and i'm gonna do a central line straight down the middle and then one horizontal and this is like where the brows will go the eyebrows and then slightly under that we make a line for the eyes and then we're gonna make a line about here for the start of the hairline and then the equal amount line from there to there to go about here and that'll be the bottom of the nose if anyone can hear kids playing outside, I do apologise. I have told them to shut up, but they haven't listened to me because I shouted through a window and they couldn't hear me in the first place. But, you know, just to let you know, if you hear them, I did I did tell them to stop. Okay, so we've got our face here. And I am by no means someone that's great at facial anatomy. This is just what I've learnt in my time of trying to learn facial anatomy. <laughs> Are there monkeys outside? What the hell is that? Woo! Yeah, bugger off. Do excuse the mess, I'm sure I have many comments telling me I'm doing things wrong, but whatever, I am trying. <laughs> okay, so now I have somewhat angry eyebrows, as you can see. We're going to add a couple little lines in the forehead, like she's got two little lines here. So if we get my blending tortillion, uh, I'm going to just make a little triangle for her nose. Once we've got, this is looking more like a man than a woman, but oh well. Notice how her mouth is like face down like a normal mouth is kind of like a flat m like like imagine an m that's been sat on but because she's angry it's more like that like teeth like that okay my blending tortillion again these are actually really great for this type of stuff and usually the corners of the mouth will sort of go up to around this part of the iris so we're just going to mark them out something i know and have learnt the top lip usually will be darker than the bottom lip because the bottom, the top lip kind of faces downwards towards the floor. I've made her mouth way too big. I've just realised that. That is way too big. Let's start again. So because she is angry, the lips are actually closer to the nose. Like if you think about like doing a snarling like face to show the teeth, you, your top lip needs to sort of go up a little bit. So it's going to be slightly closer to the nose than say this one is. As you can see, the top lip's slightly closer to the nose on this one. She's got some big teeth. Okay, there we go. Her mouth is still way too big, but that's totally fine. Okay, now we're bringing in the sides of the face. There we go, dodgy face shape, but this is just a very quick experimental sketch, but it'll do for now. And then this is kind of where her hairline should be, so kind of like that. <laughs> I'm going to give her a more dainty neck, like that. She's got a cute pixie haircut, apparently. I've probably made her eyes a little bit too wide. But if I just sort of add that glaringness there, she can look angry. Like that. There we go. So again, it's not perfect. It's very, very rough. I'm at a funny angle. I really need to have it like this so I can actually see what I'm doing. But because I'm recording, I cannot see that. She's got a very weird nose. If I was to spend a bit more time on this, it would look less odd, I'm sure. But I'm going to go on to the next one now. And again, I really can't draw circles. Looking at this, her eyeballs are like popping out. Do you know someone's wide-eyed when you can see more of the iris and the white of the eye? So I'm trying to achieve that. And the eyebrows are actually going to be higher than this brow line, but we're going to just say that's the brow bone. I really need to work on my facial expressions because this is one thing that I really have never done before. So I think this is going to be a work in progress. <laughs> There we go, she's surprised, there we go, perfect, we're done. So again, this flattened M is kind of like a pushed up M. Now, you see what I mean? It's kind of like an M, but like... That's it, look at that, that's a surprised face. Gonna give her some nice forehead wrinkles, just what every lady wants. That's how she looks. <laughs> so we've got our, where's the manager lady? And we've got our, I'm constipated lady. I've really messed the hair up, but that's fine. I'm not focusing on the hair right now. So I didn't draw a side profile. Like I mentioned about putting the lines on the face and then you can have it to the side and then, oh, look, the guidelines kind of somewhat help to visualize where everything is. It is going to be kind of helpful to me having these guidelines like that. And you have like 
circle here and then because she's sort of straight on Gonna kind of have a looking there. Okay, so she's not perfect, her lips need a bit of work, but that's kind of what I mean by these lines, making it to the side like that. Um, it kind of helps, in a way, working alongside guidelines on the face. That's everything, so thank you so incredibly much for watching. I hope that this video was somewhat helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you think you would try these out. This Again, this is the name of it. Again, I bought these myself, this is not sponsored and I don't have any coupon codes, I'm afraid, but... Um, yeah, there's the website if anyone wants to check it out. So yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think. If there's any products similar to this you'd like to see me try out next time. And yes, thank you so incredibly much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.